Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Bory and I'm one of the automation specialists here at Ramco. When looking at PLCs, what do you consider to be the most important feature? Is it hardware features or is it a quick setup? What about support availability? Can you get help without having to pay those costly monthly support charges? In this multi-part series, I'm going to share with you the benefits of using the Omron machine control platforms for automation projects. Let's take a look. Omron Automation's NJ is the latest machine automation control developed to be extremely fast, extremely flexible, and extremely easy to use. You may be wondering, what do you mean by machine automation controller? I use PLCs in my plant. But not only is it a PLC, it's a motion controller as well. You no longer need to add motion control modules into your PLC. With the NJ, it's all in one. There are four different models of the NJ with zero or two axis or motion all the way up to 256 axes. Enough about the hardware for now. Let's take a look at what most programmers like myself are really interested in. How easy is this thing to program? Let's take a quick look at the software and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up initial setup of a three axis servo system. Once online, we're going to right click on the master and say compare and merge. This is going to go find any axes that is connected to my EtherCAT system. Apply this configuration. And now we can look at each axis and identify their catalog numbers. We can even look at the input and outputs that are connected to the EtherCAT coupler. If you need to add additional ones, the catalog numbers are on the right. Additionally, parameters are saved into the NJ for simple, easy backup. Now we're going to set up an axis. Click on Axis Settings and say Add. We're going to use a use axis. We're going to pick one of the axes for this example that we just uploaded. I'm going to choose node 3. We're going to set up the scaling. I'm going to choose degrees. And for incremental motors, a standard 131, 072 counts is common. And we're going to use that to enter in for the initial value. We're going to say one revolution motor is 360 degrees. We're going to cap out maximum velocity at 3600 and maximum jog velocity at 3600 as well. Let's go ahead and download this. Once the values are downloaded, we can test each axis that we set up without having to write any code whatsoever. Click on Start MC Test Run. This is going to allow us to turn the axes on and jog them at a specific value to test the system mechanically. We're going to target velocity of 360 degrees a second and excel a decel as 360 degrees per second. Now we can click the plus or minus. As you can see, each axis is jogging. This will be a great way of testing a mechanical system without writing any code. Okay, let's talk about support. It's the big looming dollar sign. You're probably wondering, all right, Ramco, how much do I have to pay a year to get support on this thing? The answer is zero dollars. I'm going to say that again. You do not have to pay a penny for support on your Omron NJ. You can contact Omron or Ramco anytime for your support needs. And I'll share with you another secret. Software updates are free as well. This has been a brief introduction to the NJ platform and the initial setup for the software. Stay tuned to Ramco TV where I'll show you how Omron automation controllers can be beneficial to your next project. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.